Hi everyone, this is Chicho. Welcome to my channel. As you can tell with my voice, uh, I'm a little bit under the weather. Uh, school's starting, sort of flu season, I guess, and I'm usually pretty good. I usually don't get hit um, because I've built up my immune system over the years, interacting with a lot of teenagers and tweens and stuff like this because uh, uh, the school, as soon as, usually when school starts, uh, when you bring a whole bunch of people together, a whole bunch of kids together that have either been traveling or doing whatever, uh, flu goes around. Uh, you can't avoid it. Uh, and it's good and bad, you know, bad because it takes you down for a few days, maybe sometimes a little bit longer. I just recently got my voice back. Uh, so what is the first thing Chicho does when he gets his voice back? He makes an update video, right? Uh, but the plus side of that is it builds up your immune system, and I'm pretty good at that. But this year I ended up getting hit, which is not a bad thing. You know, what is that saying that um, I think it was Nietzsche that said, doesn't kill you, makes you stronger? I don't know if that's the case um, for every situation, but it is, uh, it is building, it is for building up your immune system, right? So I thought I'd give you guys a little uh, update of... Uh, what I've been up to while we, we sit by the fire and drink a little bit of soothing tea, right? Um, now, the first thing is, um, one thing I've been trying to do, um, what I plan on doing and I will, I will be doing, is uh, doing live, live videos, holding live sessions. And right now, the system that I have, um, my computer and hardware and stuff that I have uh, is pretty old. So I tried doing some of the live stuff on YouTube and it didn't work because my system was too old. And I tried some of the other platforms as well. And um, my system isn't able to handle uh, the software needed. Um, it's basically my graphics card and probably my processor as well because I'm running on something that's about seven, eight years old right now, processing all these videos and creating all this content and stuff like that, right? Um, so what I ended up doing uh, was uh, talking to some of the people on Patreon or support me on Patreon and we did a little test run um, with one of the supporters on Patreon, uh, Matthew. Thank you, Matthew, for uh, helping me do that little test, test run, doing a little live session. Um, and Matthew, he's, he's involved in his own projects as well. And I'll provide a little link in the description of this video. He's, he's trying to put together a movie. It's called Wretch. And they just did sort of a, uh, a whole bunch of information, sharing a whole bunch of information and participate in sort of a, another platform where they were trying to get supporters and raise funds. And I liked the little preview that they did. So Matthew decided to, you know, help me out on that. So we did a little um, through Google Chat, I guess, with this sort of live session. And we've tried a couple other times to do live sessions with a couple other, or at least one other person on Patreon, but it hasn't worked out yet. And I realized that um, it's not going to work out if I just keep it uh, on a down low, right? I do need to upgrade my system. So what I'm going to be doing is next week, uh, upgrading my system, uh, my hardware, my software. Uh, so it's going to be, you know, probably a couple of weeks until I get the stuff, uh, get the computer. I'm going to get a sort of a gaming computer, sort of mid to high grade. Uh, decided to sort of cough up the dough for that because I definitely do need it. And I do want to start incorporating live sessions into, into this platform, into what we're doing right now. Because I've personally, I've learned a lot uh, from you guys, from all the feedback that I've been getting, from all this content that I've been creating and trying to answer questions. And I hope... Uh, you know, it, it's also been reciprocated on from my end. I've been sharing a lot of information as well, as much as I can. Uh, and I hope that's been, you know, helpful to you guys if you've been looking for math content or whatever it is that you've been looking for, right? So again, this is sort of a P2P, P2P for me, peer-to-peer. -peer. Uh, it's sharing information, sharing sharing what I love and you guys are doing the same, reciprocating to me. So I really appreciate that uh, from your end, right? Um, so long, long update regarding live stuff. I am going to be upgrading my system uh, next week. 
And what I've decided to do is not to hold the live sessions on YouTube. Uh, there's multiple reasons for that. Uh, one of the main ones being that uh, everything can't be shared on YouTube. As you might be aware, there's a lot of uh, censorship going on on certain platforms, YouTube being one of them. You know, it is their platform and their, they have the right <coughs> Excuse me, this is the longest I've talked for a few days, so. <clears throat> it is their platform, and they have the right to uh, dictate uh, who, who they allow on their platform, right? As far as I'm concerned, it would be equivalent to me inviting people to my home, and if they're misbehaving or they're not... I don't want to say misbehaving because the censorship that's happening is not about misbehaving. It's about not sharing the right ideas, but um, as far as they're concerned. Uh, so as far as I'm concerned, if I invite someone to my house and I don't agree with their philosophy and I don't really want that information shared within the community that I'm creating, then I have the right to ask them to leave. And I, that's the way I look at it. And that's, you know, I'm going to ruffle some feathers right now, but... Uh, that is the way it is, and that gives birth to disruptive innovation, and that's what's really happening right now, right? YouTube uh, has sort of a monopoly, has had sort of a monopoly for a very, very long time, right? But what's happening right now with them, with Alphabet Inc., because it's not really Google anymore, Alpha, Alphabet Inc. working on, on Wall Street, right? So they have, their first obligation is to shareholder value, right? Not like cup of tea, but that's what their first obligation is. That's what it means when you go public to Wall Street, right? You put out your, you know, business model, and the first priority there is to increase shareholder value, right? I think they're going about it the wrong way, but it is what they want to do, right? And what that's doing is giving birth to other platforms that are coming up where there's a fair bit of people migrating to those other platforms. Now, I'm not going to completely go off YouTube, and I will never go completely go off YouTube because as far as I'm concerned, I will use every platform at my disposal to share as much information as possible, right? Maybe regarding mathematics or anything else, right? So I will continue to stay on YouTube 100%, but what I've decided to do is to do the live sessions on Twitch, okay? And I definitely need to upgrade my system for Twitch. And that's one of the reasons that I'm, you know, I will be upgrading my systems and, or system anyway, getting a high-end laptop, gaming laptop, because what I want to do is hold live sessions in different places, not necessarily just sitting down, maybe sometimes in the kitchen doing some cooking sessions, maybe going out to the park. And at some point, I'm pretty sure once I start sharing my, um, uh, putting the video together where I'm showing you some of the gaming systems that I have, some of the games that I play, I'm pretty sure I'm going to get the bug to start uh, getting into gaming as well. So I would love to, love to live stream some gaming sessions as well, okay? So that's just uh, one of the updates that we will be holding live sessions, but it won't be on YouTube, it will be on Twitch. And on Twitch, as far as I know, there is no censorship being, you know, taking place, okay? And what I will be doing with those live sessions that we hold on a Twitch, I will be saving those and editing out anything that is not allowed on YouTube and loading those live sessions onto YouTube as well. So you don't necessarily have to go to Switch or Twitch uh, to get a feel for what the live sessions are like because I will uh, edit and load the, that content onto YouTube, YouTube as well. But most likely there will be some sections cut out because what's going to happen with live sessions uh, almost anything goes okay. really almost anything goes that includes politics okay because that's one thing i've stayed away from as much as i can anyway on youtube because you know you could see the censorship coming up from a mile away right i've been blogging for a long time and you know you could see it coming a mile away and that's one reason i sort of adjusted uh, the way I was sharing information and the type of content I was creating, not necessarily the information, but the delivery mechanism, right? Because the delivery, the information that I'm sharing is pretty much 
straight up the same way I was doing when I was writing articles, political, a lot of political articles starting back in 2006, 2007. But uh, the delivery is a lot gentler. On Twitch, it might not be so, okay? So just a heads up, and right now I've created the, con uh, created the channel on Twitch, okay? And I'll provide the link in the description of this video as well. And the channel is Chicho Live, okay? And there's nothing there right now. It's gonna take me a little bit of time to set all the stuff up, right? I, I'm not gonna get the system until next week, most likely, maybe a couple of weeks. Maybe they have to order it for me. So it might take, you know, three weeks or so before, three or four weeks before I even, I'm even ready to do a test run on there. But if you're on Twitch, uh, the, the channel that I've created is Chicho Live. Okay, and the description will be in this video. Okay, that was a main update that I want to share. Uh, the second update is the comic book readings. As you can tell, um, you know we have a whole bunch of readings that we still have to do, and I and I stated I was going to try to get them all done in 2017, and that is still my goal. But I'm gonna I'm gonna blow my timeline. I'm not gonna. The odds are. Uh, I'm not going to get it done all in 2017. We're going to get a whole bunch done in 2017, but probably we're going to roll over into 2018, okay? And what I'll do is, uh, just to compensate for rolling over, taking so, so long to do these comic book readings, to compensate for rolling over to 2018, I might actually start adding in some other readings in there as well, okay? Which I did for one, but unfortunately that had to be taken down um, for a reason. Uh, but uh, I'll stay away from the reason of that uh, for a future video. Maybe we'll cover that in Twitch, okay, during the live sessions. So just a heads up, there will be more comic book readings coming up, but we're going to roll over in 2018. And the odds are before we get into the comic book readings, I'm going to do a pretty good serious uh, comic book haul that I've been accumulating for the last few months from this one seller on eBay. And we finally filled up a box, and the box is on its way to me. So I'm going to do a comic book haul um, with you guys. And before we do that comic book haul, what I'm going to do most likely is find an open... <coughs> find some kind of uh, open spreadsheet platform, uh, Creative Commons platform, somewhere where... Uh, I don't want it to be on Google um, because there is censorship happening on Google. So I will try to find some kind of spreadsheet. And if you do know of a site that is providing uh, documentation, sort of spreadsheet and, and uh, documents that we can create, that's going to be open for anyone to edit, right? sort of a Wikipedia sort of type of deal, sort of open source, uh, Creative Commons type of stuff. Uh, what I will most likely try to do is take all the comic book haul, all the comics in that comic book haul video that's coming up and list them in that table. And I'm gonna create some columns, most likely. I'll try to get to it. I'm not so sure if I will or not, but that's the idea. Uh, create some columns on, you know, different, uh, different variables, the, you know, the grade, the price, the artist that uh, created that, the date, and all that jazz, because at some point we're gonna take all the comic book haul videos that I've done, and that is the plan, and put, out, put all that stuff in a spreadsheet, and take a look at how that stuff relates to investing, and try to come up with some kind of system where we can actually quantify investing in comic books other than just slabbing them, right? I, it's for the comic book, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, for, uh, for the comic book collecting uh, hobby, but it's more hobby investing, we have to sort of go beyond the way it's been working out right now, where it's very arbitrary, where the prices, as you can tell with the previous uh, comic book haul I did with the CGC uh, 
buy that I did, rookie mystic number six, where the price I got that I, it's amazing, fantastic that I can get certain things that are worth, in my opinion, so much more than what I'm paying for them. Fantastic. But I think what I what's going to happen in the future is this is going to be more quantified. There's going to be less fluctuation in prices and more stable prices for collections, right? So that will be sort of the first step creating that spreadsheet and possibly putting on some mathematics on there and taking a look at different variables for each issue and see how the prices fluctuate over time, right? I'm really looking forward to it. I actually have a lot of stuff laid out. Uh, my apologies if I'm not going into detail with it and sort of uh, mumbling my way through this update, but I just recently got my voice back and my energy level is extremely, extremely low. But I've, um, I really wanted to share this information. I really wanted to give you guys the update regarding this. Um, another thing is, I'm almost finished there about Silver Thorn, right? And I was thinking about doing sort of a book review of Silver Thorn, Vice Silver Thorn, Rift War Saga, just for this, but I don't think they're going to wrap it up. Uh, what's happening in this book? in this amount of, uh, in this many pages, right? Uh, it's gonna roll over, okay? So the odds are, unless things wrap up in this, this epic tale that they're telling very quickly, I'm gonna wait until I read the fourth book in the series uh, before I do a review of this. Fantastic, really. I love the darkness of it. So fun, so fun. Thank you very much for recommending this. Okay. Um, fantastic, fantastic. Okay. Uh, just a couple of more, uh, a couple more things I wanted to mention. One of them was uh, the previous video that I uploaded, which was sort of how to play Monopoly, the, the sort of variant rules that we use with our gaming group that we have. And I love the way the video came out. Um, I love that game, it's fantastic. It's been with me for a very, very long time. One of the first games I ever learned how to play and it will be one of the last games I ever play in my life, right? But what I did with that video and the rules I sort of typed out on, on my blog, right? And the tables are available on my blog as well. I took the, sort of took that information and posted it on a gaming forum, right? And I didn't realize this, but there's a lot of hate on Monopoly, right? And some people commented saying that they hated Monopoly, what a stupid game it was, and all that jazz, right? And I was flabbergasted. I was blown away. I couldn't believe there was there were so many haters, so many people that actually hated Monopoly, right? And I got in some discussions with some of the people, and they were basically saying that the game is flawed in, in design, right? And Everyone has already agreed on this. They've done the analysis on this and all this jazz, right? And I went on to a couple of gaming forum, gaming, gaming sites where they rank games, and I saw that Monopoly is ranked very low, right? And during those conversations, I mentioned that we play a lot of diplomacy and Axis and Allies, and the main three games that we play, board games that we play anyway, is Axis and Allies, Diplomacy, and Monopoly. And, you know, someone commented that, you know, on that forum, they love Axis and Allies Diplomacy, they just don't like Monopoly because it's a flawed game by design. And I sort of kept on mentioning that that was the whole purpose of Monopoly, <laughs> because it was supposed to, be, supposed to be a mirror of our flawed economic system. So our economic system is flawed by design, right? As is Monopoly flawed by design. But that doesn't take away from the joy you can get from this game, right? It takes away from the fairness of the inequality that's present in our current economic system in our societies across the globe, right? And I agree with that. Our current economic system is 100% flawed, which is one of the reasons that I've started creating math videos regarding the mathematics of economics and investing and all that jazz, right? And that's the way we're gonna approach politics, right? And I agree with that. If this game, right, the rules for this game were the rules for our current economic system, which they are, <laughs> right? Then I would say 
it's not a good game. It's not a good economic system, right? But Monopoly is a game, and you can change the rules if you like, just the way you can change the rules in our present economic system, if you like, if the power is there, if we have the ability to do it, right? Monopoly is an amazing game. If you know the rules, if you know the flaws in the system, you can manip manipulate those rules, right? That's what Monopoly is. It's a fantastic game. So for anyone that has, you know, played Monopoly when they were younger, has graduated to more intense games, and I did as well. One of the most amazing games I ever played that I wish I could find someone else to play with now is Squad Leader, Avalon Hill Squad Leader, which we would start the games on Friday night and end them on a Sunday morning, right? We'd play it for like 40 hours straight. What an amazing game, right? It would incorporate the mathematics of it all. It would incorporate the stress of war. It would incorporate all the different elements of, of battle, right? Fantastic game. But that didn't mean I didn't still like Monopoly, right? So for anyone that really doesn't think that Monopoly is a fantastic game, I highly recommend reading the rules, trying some different variants, put some people together, put a gaming group together, people that love interaction, communication, bargaining, dealing, rolling dice, luck, chance, counting, money management, and try Monopoly, okay? It deserves uh, a lot more respect than people are giving it, okay? The, <coughs> excuse me. And uh, the last little thing I wanted to mention is that I mentioned in a previous video that I'm gonna start loading up videos regarding you know just giving you guys some advice talking about the business model that i'm following and loading up videos on education okay i have some stuff laid out for advice and they will be coming up and i spent some time during my downtime right now where i really didn't have a voice and i laid out some videos to do or one some topics to talk about regarding education as you can tell education is pretty dear in my heart and what i'm going to do with education is I'm going to create a playlist um, um, sharing some of the tools at my disposal, uh, some of the tricks of the trade that I have for teaching mathematics, right? So education, that's, that information is going to go into education, but it's also going to go into a playlist called How to Teach Mathematics. Okay, so how to teach mathematics videos are going to be overlapped with education. And those videos, how to teach mathematics, are not going to really have my personal opinion on education uh, to a certain degree. There will be some on education or our current education system, but there will be more of some of the things I use to teach mathematics, right? And one of the reasons I decided to do this is because I know over the years I've had a lot of teachers, educators, parents, uh, even students tell me that they're using my videos to learn and to teach. I've had teachers from multiple countries send me, you know, ask my, for my permission to show my videos in their classrooms. And by all means, if, you're, if you want to show my math videos in your classroom with your group, share it with whoever you want, please do so. That's, my stuff is Creative Commons. I'm doing this because I, I believe the world would be a much better place if everyone in the world was literate in the language of mathematics because, well, for multiple reasons, but one of the reasons, because Monopoly, because our current economic system is flawed just the way the game of Monopoly was designed to be flawed. Our current economic system was designed to be flawed, right? Was the, designed to create inequality, the caste system, a class system, right? So please, share that information. A lot of the mathematics videos I've done, the syntax of the language of mathematics and the language of mathematics, right? Those videos, I try to put a filter on myself, and I'm okay with censorship, putting a filter on yourself if there is a more important point that you're trying to get across, right? And I've put a filter on myself for a lot of those videos to make sure that it was more geared towards teaching math not geared towards giving my opinion about how math should be used, okay? 
So there will be a playlist being created for how to teach mathematics, and that will be overlaid with education. And I've laid out some videos, some topics that I want to talk about regarding education. And that stuff is, uh, I'm going to remove some of the filters that I've put on myself. That stuff is going to have a lot of my personal opinion in it. Okay. I'm going to ruffle some feathers. Really. I'm letting you know right now, I'm going to ruffle some feathers. And the more feathers are ruffled or rustle, I don't know what the terminology is. I think ruffle. Uh, the better, in my opinion. Because, as you know, I've mentioned this before, our education system is designed to be flawed. It's basically the same way our current economic system has, set, has been set up. It's been designed to create, create inequality. It's been designed to create a caste system, a class system. Our education system is the same way. It is flawed to the core. And I'm going to talk about that. There's a few topics I want to cover. And what I'm going to do most likely is create long videos where I'm going to hit up a few different topics in an ASMR uh, format. And I'll talk about this a lot more once I get my voice back. Uh, but there are going to be extended videos where I'm going to talk about a lot of different topics. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to break up those videos and specifically just release short videos on certain issues. Okay, I don't know if I'll do for all of them, but I will do for some. Okay. So that's my little update that I wanted to give you while I sort of recoup from, uh, from a flu season, I guess. I don't know if it's a flu season. It's uh, back to school flu season. Uh, building up my immune system, that's sort of the way I look at it. And sometimes it's good to have a little downtime and just chill and do nothing and let the mind wander and drink delicious herbal teas and give the vocal cords a little break. Okay, uh, that's it for now. I'll be back as soon as I can. Um, and I'm not sure what I'm going to start off with. Uh, the plan was before I got hit, uh, before I got taken out right now, uh, before I lost my voice to uh, do some ASMR math videos. And I think I will do at least one ASMR math video. Uh, and that one I think I'm pretty sure is going to be related on how I teach mathematics. So that stuff, how I teach mathematics, some of it will be overlaid with ASMR math as well, right? As you can tell, there's a lot of layering going on with uh, the content that I'm creating because I try to uh, share as much as I can. Sometimes I share a little bit too much, but I do try to share as much as I can, sort of reciprocate some of the love uh, that I'm getting from you guys from this community and some of the amazing, amazing recommendations and information that's being shared with me may it be regarding comic books readings mathematics science technology whatever it may be okay so until uh, the next video bye for